Hi, you see this notebook and you know that serious shit gonna happen. Antenna. Looks like a normal antenna and this is, this is supposed to be 868 MHz antenna. I got some uh, time ago from AliExpress and because I wanted to use it on my long range radio system. I have the VNA so Let's say if this is Chinesium or Chinesium or so normal, normal stuff I can really use. Uh, they say this is 6 dB gain, eh, doubt, but, but whatever. Okay, let's go here, let's check the tune. Uh, the tune peak is at 872 MHz, pretty much. The S11 factor is right now at how many? Minus 15 dBm. So let's note that because I will show you something later. So what we have? Uh, 872 MHz, S11 at uh, minus, minus. Minus 15 dB, let's also 870, ah, are you still following me? 72, so R is 33 ohm, uh, this is resistance, the, imp the I don't remember how it's in the, the X, let's call it this X is 0 0.0, no, 0 0.2 ohms and VSWR at 1.6. Pretty decent, pretty fine SWR. This, this is what we can call a tuned antenna. But is it? I will show you something. Uh, I would not be me if I would not open my antennas before I put them in a different places because this there is something special about this antenna you see counter wave okay this is the ground for the antenna this is the active part and this here we have something funny where's caliper caliper is always not there when I left it last time damn why? Ah, here it is, under the keyboard. Okay, so let's measure the active part of the antenna. And the active part is 57 millimeter, millimeters. 57 millimeters is not even close to the active part of 868 antenna. So that means they either added some uh, impedance with a coil with a, somewhere here or there is something funny about this antenna. It's the second case because look, <laughs> there is a brass or at least it looks like a brass sleeve mounted over here like this. In the beginning, I thought that this sleeve is some kind of the balloon, but the balloon is not installed on this side of the antenna, but rather on the this side of the... So, what the hell is this thingy? To be honest, I have some theories, but those are only theories. I'm not that big into the antenna theory, but I will show you something. Um, balloon? Balloon. No, it's a, it's a sleeve removed. Let's put the case again on because the casing affects the velocity factor and let's turn on the VNA again. The same frequency, the same best frequency like before and right now VSWR went from 1.6 to 1.9 S11, let me switch to S11. Oh, S11 is minus nine and a half, not minus 15, that's six decibels worse. That means four times more of the signal is reflected back to the transmitter, so it's, it will be hitting. If we go here, you will see that it, 
it shifted. Previously, the best S11, which is the reflection factor, was at the best lowest value at around 873. Right now, it is... Right now, the best S11 is at... No, the best tune is at, so we can compare those two, is at 851. S11 over here, uh, okay. okay, S11 is at minus 25. That means that it is 5, 5, 10 decibels, so 8 times less uh, of the power is reflected back. 8 times? Yes, 8 times, 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 times less is reflected back into the transmitter. If we go back over here, then the SWR at 850 is... Come on, it's pretty nice. It's 1.2, it's better, it's still much better. And the resistance is 36, and this is minus 7. What the hell are they trying to pull? Oh, and one more thing. Uh, let's turn this off, and now the length of the active part is how much? 87 millimeters. 87 millimeters. This is not 868 and this is also not 868. It's slightly too long for me to be 868 megahertz. What the hell is this doing? This thing is slightly affecting the resistance and uh, impedance. X is the impedance? It's affecting the impedance of the antenna. Probably this thing is slightly matching the antenna impedance to the transmitter impedance, so there are less losses, probably. And it also tunes this to 868 MHz. I wonder what's better to have slightly better impedance tune, but it's it's only slightly better, not very much better, on or much much better uh, S11 and uh, VSWR factor. I think this one. So what we gonna do? I'm gonna play with this antenna. I'm gonna get rid of this scrap. Probably maybe this also affects the radiation pattern. Maybe it somehow makes this flatter or I don't really know. And I'm gonna retune this antenna by getting rid of the sleeve as something there. I don't need absolutely, it's not required. With my favorite antenna tuning tool, the scissors. Because my radio system is working on between 868 MHz and 870 MHz, I'm going to tune this antenna to 869 MHz and I will try to... What the... What the fuck just happened with this bloody crap? Why this is shifted here? Ah, okay! I've completely forgot. I completely forgot. Remember my last video about 31.25 millimeters without the casing? Antenna has to be longer? Antenna has to be... Has to be longer. But with this, it has to be shorter. Never mind. Um, it affects it affects the velocity factor. So I want this to be shifted somewhere here, so that I have slightly, slightly well better tuned antenna. I have to switch from 850 to 869. How by, of course, shortening the active parts by shortening the active parts. I will make, I will move the resonant, oh, 
I will move the resonant frequency from 850 to 868. And now, as you can see, the antenna is too short for... Oh, let's cut. How much? Um, let's start with, let's say, 3 millimeters. This one goes here again. Oh, you see? It's almost here. Almost. I will probably cut another, I don't know, half a millimeter. Come, 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 come. And half a millimeter cut of the active part. And... Uh, da -da. Ta -da. A perfect tune. I don't know what this was really doing, but right now um, the antenna is still resonant at the frequency I wanted this to be resonant. So 869 millimeters, for example. And S11 went from original antenna when minus 15. I right now have the SWR of, let's say, minus 18, minus 20. It all depends how I hold this because there's so much metal around. And okay, closer to minus 20 than minus 15. Or maybe I will even make it slightly. No, it's fine. And the VSWR for 869, 1.1. One, oh, okay, let's call it 1.2. Oh, okay. So, for only, <laughs> oh, uh, for only 150 bucks, I was able to tune the antenna that costed like five bucks to a proper frequency by getting rid of this. Okay, um, bottom line, I will be ending this. If anybody is really well into the antennas, maybe they can tell me what the hell this part is. It's not a balloon. I think it's used to improve the, the impedance matching, maybe, and maybe slightly affect the radiation pattern of this antenna. Um, by making it, I don't know, more omnidirectional. Or maybe this is used only for tuning. I have absolutely no idea what this is supposed to be doing. I got rid of this and I improved, at least I hope, uh, oh, at least I hope I improve it only for the cost of $150 for the VNA. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal, right? Okay, this is the all for today. Until the next one. Ciao!